If you want to join us live, 800-348-1007-35192. Send me a text. I will have another keyword for you uh, to text and try to win a thousand dollars. About nine minutes from now, closer to four thirty. You have about a dozen chances every day to get some of this money. So if you need it, or if you want to sock it away, if you need it right now, I want to sock it away. Either way, a thousand dollars for you at four thirty, and then at five thirty, and then at six thirty. And then your last two chances today with Corey Roddick, uh, tonight at 7.30 and 9.30. And then it starts all over again tomorrow in the 7 o'clock hour uh, with RMG. Today's Wednesday. Mm-hmm. Right, Wednesday. We'll be out on Friday. Um, but it'll still be the uh, Bill Squire Friday get down. That's right. For people who need to set their watches. Got to get the weekend started. Get the weekend started. If you go to alancockshow.com, of course, you can watch the show live there, but the uh, new Alan Cox Show bingo cards are up there, uh, courtesy of our friend Roman, who was kind enough to make the um, our coronavirus masks for us. Uh, the DeWine and Amy opening theme is there. An animator in Stowe put that together. He's getting a lot of traction on that. This week's Instagram hotties are there as well. Oh, yeah, good ones. And Pound Cake is working on uh, the next uh, installment of Pound Takes. Is it take or takes? Pound take. Pound, Pound take. take. Pound cake. Does your mom have a Venmo by chance? I know that's very unlikely. Uh, I, I felt like I told her to make one because I send her money sometimes, but um, I don't know if she knows have, how to access it. I have a friend that's sending frontline workers like five bucks to like get coffee or something, and uh, I nominated your mom, mm-hmm. and uh, I'd like it. Maybe she could just send it to you and you could send it on. Sure. I'll, I'll, I'll call her. Okay. I'll, I'll text her and see. Okay. You're sending money to Pound Cake's mom? I'm not. Oh, a friend of mine is. is. Ah. Yes. It's just a, a nice way to show support for frontline workers. Yeah, that's very nice. Tell, tell your friend I said thank you. Tell yourself. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> okay. Or I can do that. It's Carly. You know her. Oh, okay. Yes. Thank you, Carly. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well. I should have known better. Okay. <laughs> 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 that was a good one. That was a good one. Justin Trudeau is your boy, right? He was into the blackface thing. Oh, that uh, got him off the list. <sighs> He's just so hot, though. Like, yeah, I, I, that's I, why he had such a boner for Virginia Governor Ralph Northam for a long time. But then, you know, blackface. No, he, I mean he's not cute. Justin Trudeau is, uh, first of all, he's not too happy with the United States because supposedly a lot of PPE shipments that were due to Canada were very quietly diverted to the United States, I think. I think people here in charge at the White House are somehow trying to make up for lost time by just, like, pirating other countries' shipments. There, There are more than one country is complaining of this currently. But Justin Trudeau thinks that you should wear a mask. A lot of other people think so, too. But his way of describing it really jumped out at me. And I find it largely gross. Really takes away from the message Mm -hmm. when you talk like this. If people want to wear a mask, that is okay. It protects others more than it protects you because it prevents you from breathing or, or, or speaking Moistly on them. Oh, what a terrible <laughs> Come on. Oh. Speaking moistly on them. Oh, oh God. God. Oh, from the uh. ca- country that brought you poutine, speaking moistly on people. It's like a defunct phone sex line. <laughs> speaking moistly. Ugh. <laughs> Never took off. No, I can't imagine why. Hello, speaking moistly. <laughs> Hi. Hi, who's this? Uh, this is Bill. Hi, Bill. Are you ready to speak moistly? I was hoping uh, we could do some of that. Are you well hydrated? I certainly am. I've got a giant bottle of water right here. Well, that's good. Me too. Yes. So. What would you like me to do with that bottle, Bill? Uh, I'd like you to take a nice sip of that water. All right. Hold on. <laughs> All right. I'm ready to speak. <laughs> that's a really... That was a, that was, I've got a large throat, Bill. <laughs> that was a really throaty sip. Yes, it was. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm ready to speak moistly now. Yeah, can I uh, can I hear something moisture in your mouth? Yes. Uh, <laughs> how's that? At uh, whatever. 
<laughs> kind of got away from me. I I know. I thought you did a great job. Well, hey, thanks. <laughs> cool. cool. <laughs> <laughs> that was the no, female version of Galaga Galaga Galaga. Yeah. I, was, uh, uh, I was trying to stay away from Galaga Galaga because it's patent pending. Yeah. Uh, Copyright it 2019. Like, like when Goofy would drink something. <laughs> Gorsh! Yeah. So anyway, even he kind of copped to the fact that... Speaking moistly. Yeah, that's a terrible image, he says, but still. That's a good comedy special name. Speaking moistly? Yeah, Mary Santor is speaking moistly. <laughs> yeah. Ugh, it makes me think of people who have that, like that, that when they talk like this. Hey, I'm speaking I'm moistly speaking to you! Moistly. Yeah, so when, okay, then it could be for Rich Voss. Or when oh, the saliva. Yeah, it's a Rich Voss type thing. When saliva accumulates at the end oh, of their oh, mouth. Oh, it's like I've white. Been, I've been on a date like that, and I'm oh, like, I can't God. take, I'm like, I'm trying to hold it together, but what I can't eat. I was like, I'm just going to take this to go. He's like, do you want any more? I'm you like, do you want any more? Do you want to share an appetizer? And he just sits right there. I'm like, you got to listen. He's like, oh, do I have food on my face? I'm like, no. I don't know what it I is. wish you had food in your you face. Have moisture. And if you had that thing, you think, an accumulation. You yeah. think he would constantly be wiping at your mouth already. Like you, you know it's a condition. They, feel it. they don't have. feel it. My no, but you know but you you know that that happens to you. You I think you'd constantly What is that? My uncle had it where he would talk and it'd be like Ugh. on his lips. Like do you know what I'm talking about? I it's feel like, like maybe they're not hydrated properly or something. Oh, mm-hmm. That the mucus in their mouth is a little too pasty. So mucus in their mouth. And then they try to lean in for a kiss. Pasty. The mucus in my mouth is a little too pasty. Guys, I'm speaking moistly to you, <laughs> but I'm not really talking to anyone else, all right? They're single handedly responsible for coronavirus. Speaking moistly. <sighs> Spitting on my psoriasis. Wear a mask that is okay. It protects others more than it protects you because it prevents you from breathing or or, or speaking moistly on them. Oh, what a terrible image. Mm-hmm. <laughs> At least he knows that he kind of messed up there. Well, that's a terrible speaking image. moistly. Ugh. He's just so damn cute. Justin Trudeau. Someone too close to him. Him and Gavin Newsom. Mm-hmm. Like, I, oh, yeah, close talking. They're my political crushes. And I think I can actually... Have a crush on Paul Ryan now that he's out of. Politics. I'll tell you what, though, uh, Gavin Newsom is a very smart guy too. I was watching him last night to give an interview, and he's been around for a long time. He was the mayor of San Francisco. He used to be married to that Kimberly Guilfoyle, who kind of jumped the shark and then started uh, dating Trump Jr. That's his wife now, right? That's his ex, whose wife? Trump Jr.'s. No, they're not married. Oh, okay. Uh, but she's guess Gavin Newsom's ex-wife, and then he married some actress from San Francisco or something. He's a smart dude. Hmm. Booty and brains. Listen, I'm right there with you, right? I'm a, I have a unblemished record of staunch heterosexuality, but Gavin Newsom is an attractive man. He's a good-looking dude. Who's Who's the Latino guy from Florida? Who, who's Republican? Marco Rubio. Uh, yep, yeah, I used to have a crush on him, but he he sold his soul and he's evil. So, no more. Gavin. But he was already a Republican when you thought he was hot. I know, but I saw like some pool party pictures of him. <laughs> pool party pictures? Yeah, and it was him and a Why bunch of dudes. Why was he having a pool party? It was, it was him and a bunch of dudes. Like I think it was from when he was in college. But yeah, he was in a pool party, and it was like a big, like there was foam everywhere. I was like, oh my God, who's that? They were like, that is Republican, you know, uh, Senator Marco Rubio. I was like, oh, really? And then. But that doesn't make him any less attractive physically. But, well, that's he's a young guy. But I found out his policy, uh, his policies, and I'm like, uh-uh. I just can't distract that. Right, but you don't care that Michael Jackson fingered boys. You're separating the I art from the artist. I don't think he's attractive. But you separate the art from the artist with Marco Rubio. Marco Rubio, Marco Rubio is not laying bars, okay? Like, he don't have anything I could dance to. Maybe I would bump what, it. But what I'm saying is he was already that awful guy when you thought he was hot before. But I didn't know his policies. I didn't know. Well, he was a Republican. And now I You can pretty much suss him out. There's some good ones. There's some good Republicans. Name me one right now. Right now, name me one. There like, might I, have been a few years like, ago. I was like, okay, well, John McCain and then Joe Scarborough, but he's no longer a Republican. Um, John McCain's dead. Okay, Scarborough's a talking okay. head on television. Okay, well, then I don't have any more. Mike DeWine. <laughs> yes, for what Mike DeWine is doing right now. He's keeping us safe. Yes, right. the last few keeping, months. Keeping that's right. Safe. Good. Disagreed with that's most of 2019 need. on that guy. Well, well that's but. what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. Mo- r- r- that's more indicative of somebody who's got an R next to their name, right? right? He's doing a phenomenal job through all this. Mm-hmm. But Arnold, nobody, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Selective amnesia. Is not, what? Arnold Schwarzenegger. He was a celebrity governor. He's barely, uh, you We know. have a celebrity president. So you take He's my point. It. You just made my point for me. I'm just saying. You asked me to name a Republican. I named one. And Arnold is retired, but people seem to like him. 
Right, but I meant name me one where you don't really know what they stand for. You said, well, I didn't know Marco Rubio's policies. Everybody knew Marco Rubio's policies. He had an R next to his name. Guy's Cuban, and he's still a Republican. Yeah. Yeah, they thought he was going to be the next hot young thing over there in the Republican Party. Man, Poundcake's going to marry a Republican boat guy. He might. The best sex I've ever had was from, like, a, a repressed Republican. I don't know what it is. <laughs> a repressed Republican. I don't know what it is. I don't know because what Because they're looking do. to break out on the on the DL. But it, it was the best. And I was just like... They weren't feel, open, right? They feel, weren't openly... No. But, like, I felt so terrible about it. I'm like... Ugh. It's the forbidden fruit. That's why it was so amazing. Was like, all the Mangos. years of marching and protesting, I just threw it all away for some good... Mm. <laughs> I was so mad at myself. What? But, marching and protesting? He doesn't the, march our or ancestors, protest. Our, our, gay, our big gay ancestors. <laughs> big gay Al's ancestors. Yeah, but it's not <clears throat> stuff that you did. I know, but, like, I didn't help the cause. I just threw us back. Like he did me. <laughs> <laughs> I banged a Republican, didn't know it, and then uh, when I left the next morning, I stole his MAGA hat. There you go. <laughs> <I threw it laughs> away. He tried to take away your health care. <laughs> Never asked about it, but I mean, I, that was for me. You know what I mean? But it would be my luck. That but I'd wait, he him. he had it on the night before? No, it was when I was walking out. You were like, at his place. I left before he woke up, and when I walked out through the living room, I saw a MAGA hat on the table, and I stole it. <laughs> I threw it away at the gas station. Were, was it good sex, though? <laughs> eh, it was fine. <sighs> Should have left the hat. I wish it was bad Why? sex. Why not? Well, he's good. He's going to get another one. He's he gotta, probably had six of them in the closet. He probably had more, yeah. He's got but... the Keep America Great hat now anyway, so it's not that big a good deal. Yeah. I got $1,000 here for you. A shot for you to get yourself some money for bills or sock it away or whatever you need it for. Good luck. Rover's Morning Glory wants to help with a chance at $1,000. We have your shot at a grand right now. Text the nationwide keyword... Calm, C-A-L-M, to 200-200. You'll get a text confirming entry plus iHeartRadio info. Standard data and message rates apply in this nationwide contest. That's Calm to 200-200. Good luck from 100.7 WMMS. You never quite know what you're going to get when you're doing a live interview with Tracy Morgan. Um, the times that I've had Tracy Morgan on my show over the years... You kind of just have to let him talk uh, because it's you're not really going to follow any logical thread. It's kind of like talking to pound cake sometimes. Hey, well, it is. It doesn't often follow a logical thread. You just got to kind of ride the wave and hope it takes you somewhere. Okay. And Tracy Morgan is always just bananas. He's mm -hmm. funny and new, whatever. But you can almost always, you can set your watch to him saying... I'm going to make something pregnant. He does have That's, his little yeah. things that he'll go back to, right? But I feel like those are just kind of uh, ro kind of sign markers for him where he can go one way or the other. I heard him on Stern the other morning. They were doing a Zoom thing, and he was doing his level best to try to get Tracy to focus. But like I said, you just got to kind of sit back, and, and, and I don't know what Tracy's pimping or whatever, but maybe he's just bored in his house and people are taking advantage of the fact that he's available. They had him on the Today Show which is decidedly different than the Howard Stern show. But they had him on today, and Hoda Kotb, uh, I think, was having a hard time maintaining her focus. Me and my wife been quarantining in for like three weeks, so she's pregnant three times. Every week she got pregnant. <laughs> and we also, we're role-playing a lot now. She's playing a young maiden okay. whose grandfather was infected with coronavirus, and I'm the scientist who discovered the cure, and she'll do anything to save her grandfather's life. So, <laughs> this is morning tell It's hilarious, but it's the Today Show. It's right? really offensive to say that Tracy Morgan could play a scientist. He does not have that kind of range. You don't know. Scientists are mad. He could be a scientist. He never said what he invented. Tracy Morgan, nah. He's the scientist who discovered the cure for the coronavirus when they're role-playing. So, again, it's true. it is fantasy. So he did, he I'm, did I'm shocked say that they didn't then. call it the coronavirus, to be honest. You can't fathom From a world in which he could have uh, figured out the cure for the coronavirus. Accidentally, 100%. I can't see him playing that role. The guy who well. wrote Werewolf Bar Mitzvah, you are Spooky trying to tell me. scary. <laughs> <laughs> men becoming wolves. Or uh, men become boys becoming men. Wolf, men men becoming wolves. wolves. <laughs> and it's Passover too, right? Hey, it's uh, some connective tissue there. Boys becoming men, men becoming wolves. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Not mean anything. Well, you are a creative one. I was just watching the show. This tiger in the Bronx Zoo got me scared. 
So I'm going to get all my pets tested. Yeah. I'm getting my sharks tested. <laughs> I'm getting my moray eel tested. I just bought a 600 pound silverback gorilla. I'm going to take him down to New York Presbyterian and get him tested. There you go. So she's <laughs> really trying to kind of keep the boat in the water there. But what do they expect with a Tracy Morgan That's interview? what I'm saying. Like, like they're, yeah. they're desperate yeah. for celebrities or something. And so. It's funny. Yeah. This like is them. scary. Break it down. I was working late on my half Torah when I heard a knock on my bedroom door. I opened it up and to my surprise, there was a werewolf standing there with glowing gold eyes. He says, Tomorrow, my son, you will be a man. But tonight's the time to join the Wolfen clan. clan. Tomorrow, you will stand at the beamer and pray. But tonight, let's gaze at the moon and bathe. Werewolf for mitzvah, spooky, scary. Boys becoming men, men becoming wolves. <laughs> Werewolf for mitzvah. Ba mitzvah. Ba That's mitzvah. what I like. Uh, Werewolf ba mitzvah. Spooky, scary. I like that. Yeah. From 30, 30 Rock. Spooky, scary. Boys becoming men, men becoming wolves. Mm -hmm. Boys becoming men, men becoming wolves. Hulk Hogan's got some thoughts on the coronavirus. It's God's punishment. You want to talk about for, divorce? Oh, he's one of these. For the gays? For what? For worshiping false idols. Ooh. Says a guy who is a superstar in wrestling. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, has his own vaccine alternative. Hmm. Oh, I hope it's prayer. He's 66 now. Isn't his son still in prison? Don't know about that. Hmm. Brooke Hogan's a piece, though. He said, in three short months, uh, God has taken away everything we worship. You want to worship athletes? I will shut down the stadiums. You want to worship musicians? I will shut down the civic centers. You want to worship actors? I will shut down the theaters. Yeah, people have been doing all of this for a long time. No mention of comics. In Why there. now? Well, I assume... Also wrestlers. People worship that. They still did WrestleMania. They just did it with no audience. I assume uh, comedians are included in athletes. Oh, obviously. Because if you look at most comedians... Playing arenas. Ripped. Oh. Mm. Very fit. Very, very fit. You want to worship money? I will shut down the economy and collapse the stock market. This is Hulk Hogan. So for him, it's reminiscent of a biblical plague. Hmm. I didn't realize he was such a man of faith. He said, maybe we don't need a vaccine. Maybe we need to take time in isolation and have a personal revival where we focus on the only thing in the world that really matters... JC. Jesus. Oh. So there you go. Maybe we don't need a vaccine. I guess I would ask Hulk Hogan, why isn't Jesus giving us a vaccine? I mean, I thought Kenneth Copeland... Didn't he blow took, it all away? Didn't took he care of go, this a couple of weeks went, oh, ago. All gone. God's wind. Kenneth Copeland was like, I demand a vaccine. Did you see him blowing it away, though? No. Oh, yeah. He blew he, it away? He blew away. He said, oh, I'm using the Lord's breath to blow away the coronavirus. Oh, I didn't see that. Yeah. Oh, the winds of God? Mm-hmm. Man, this guy, he's really, he's been around for a long, long time, but he's having a moment again. I mean, if you pardon the pun, he's having a revival. <laughs> it's Kenneth Copeland, boy. I used to see his name in the TV guide when I was a kid. Sunday mornings, they'd air him on, I don't know, Channel 400 or something. Oh, it's nice. Wait, what's going on there? That's, that, that's blowing, what he did? Yeah, that's him blowing away the coronavirus. <laughs> oh, oh, the wind of God. The wind of God. COVID-19! I'm blown! Oh, those other guys are his hype men. Yeah. Oh, I was like... And then he starts speaking oh, moistly. I demand. On you. On you. You are destroyed forever? It is kind of fun performance art, really. I mean, there's no nothing serious oh. about it, and he doesn't look crazy at all hmm. with those uh, eyes coming at you. But, uh, but but why didn't Hulk Hogan make the point that you worship God? They close churches down too. I don't I don't understand that. Well, that's not important. <laughs> what it doesn't really vibe with his. It's what not he's trying ironclad. To say. Yeah. It's but I'm not, just saying, uh, you, you worship God, you can't go into the house of the Lord. So you can do that from anywhere. You can't go see a show from anywhere. Yes, you can. You can worship. You can't. You can. You can't go see a live show anytime you want. Now you're in your home. You can worship in your home anytime you like. Worship. It's the personal relationship that you have with your higher power that makes it so meaningful. 
Now shut up and let me watch this guy blow at God. <laughs> and you'll never be back. And you'll, and you'll never, never be back. Thank you, our God. Thank you. Oh, okay. So that was it? Just him blowing the COVID-19 yeah. away? And I, demand. I don't think it worked, though. How do you know? Yeah, I, I say we give it some time. Yeah. Okay, all right. Uh, but he really did. That was a big spitter, listen, though. If listen. I were those other guys, I'd be a little bit worried. I mean, this is all made up, but in my brain, I'd be like, well, I know this is, I, I, you know, I this don't really putting... take this seriously, but he just spat all over us. If yeah. a butterfly flaps its wings, there's a tsunami, right? No. If this That's guy nonsense. blows his lips, no more coronavirus. Huh. All right. Right? I, that, that, apparently, that's what I he's... I mean, follow the logic. That's I mean, what he's working on. Blowing for God seems like a weird thing to plant your flag in when you're a preacher. Big oh. lips, my dear. I don't know. Gotta make them moist, though. <laughs> <laughs> Who blows like that? He I just... Blow! Yeah, he just spat yeah. all over that church. Now, it's empty. I mean, they, they don't have any people there, but... Good gravy! What? This guy, oh, really he's not even, these other hype men around him, they're not an alligator's length away from him. They're not a gator's length? No. They're not even a big chuck distance away from him. They're standing right there next to him. They're barely I guess they want a to show, little John away from him. Yeah, I guess they want to show solidarity. Mm -hmm. Also trying to keep them all in the shot. <laughs> <laughs> that too. Mm -hmm. Guys, uh, or shouldn't we maintain, when the camera's not on, should we maintain our social distancing since this is all nonsense and made up? Uh, no. We need to get all you guys in the shot. Really? I don't have the wide Can angle. Can I stand over here? Mm -hmm. This is for the rubes. I'm worried about actually legitimately getting sick. Can I? Nope. We told you to get the iPhone 11 with the three cameras, man. This is your own fault. Yeah, it mm. is your own fault. <laughs> Just because you thought the latest phone was a false idol. I don't know what to tell you. Takes amazing nighttime photos. Anyway, move this along. I got a werewolf bar mitzvah to get to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I got an envelope with 500 bucks in it with this kid's name on it. All right. I got a break. If you want to get a text in, 35192. Next shot for you to get $1,000 is coming up around 530. And uh, com for everything else. The Alan Cox Show on 100.7 WMMS. And everywhere you...